Part 8, Reset Edit Fields. We will be setting two sections for this form. The first section will contain the form fields, and the second section will contain the response messages. This separation is required because we will hide the form fields whilst displaying the messages, and it is easier to hide sections than individual fields. Later, we will use conditional logic to make it all functional. First, let's give the existing section a more definitive name by hovering over it, just above the help text field, and clicking on the gear icon to open the section settings panel. Let's name it as form section and save it. Now, let's delete the help text field to keep our form simple. In the new password field, let's hide the label. Set the placeholder as new password. Set the auto-complete section to off, and in the features section, and check the password strength meter box, and tick the box for password visibility toggle. Let's save the field. Let's do the same for the new password confirmation field. Hide the label. Set its placeholder as new password confirmation. Set the auto-complete section to off. And check password strength meter. And tick password visibility toggle. Let's save the field. We will edit the two hidden fields purely for our reference and the ease of using these fields later. Let's rename the login field as login key. And save it. Rename the reset password key field as reset key. And save it. In this instance, we don't need to worry about setting the auto-complete sections to off, since the data in these hidden fields is passed not via the front-end input, but the URL link. We will change the submit button label from reset password to reset, then click save and close to save all fields and open the toolbox panel. Let's add an HTML field for the cancel link below the submit button redirecting users to the home page if they remember their password at the last minute. Name this field as cancel. Paste our code in the HTML area and save this field. Now, we will add two messages within a separate section container. Below the form, click on the plus icon to add a new section. Name it as message section. Then click save and close. Add two HTML fields to our message section. Name the first HTML field as invalid message and set it as hidden by default. We are hiding this message field for it should be displayed only in the event of an invalid session, which usually happens in one of four cases. One, if the user clicks on an expired reset link set to the time limit of 24 hours by default. Two, if the user clicks on a previously used link 3. If the user requests to reset the password twice or more within the time limit, and clicks on a link preceding the latest one. And 4. There are discrepancies in the reset URL. Let's expand the message panel view. And in the content area, let's paste our HTML code informing the user of the invalid password reset request, with two links below the message. The first link, generate new request, opens the forgot password pop-up, enabling users to request a new password reset link, whilst the second link, cancel, redirects to the home page. Click on save and close to save this field and minimize the view. Open the settings panel of our second HTML field, and rename it as success message. Let's set it hidden by default, for it will be displayed only on successful submission. Let's expand the view, and in the content area, let's paste our HTML code message that reads, your password has been reset, with two links below, one for the home page, and one for triggering the login pop-up, where users can log in using their new password. Click on save and close to save this field and minimize the view. Let's publish our form to save all changes and move on to the form actions.